Hi guys. Good evening po. Ayan. Medyo, ayan, marami na tayo. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, si Miss Daniel. Ang ganda ng name niya. Daniel. Ayan, si Sir Dennis, si Sir Danilo. Good, ah, good evening po sa inyo. Ayan, si Ma'am Welia Lu. Ayan, mga dati ko na nakikita yung mga names nila. So, good evening po sa inyong lahat. Uh, welcome natin ang month of June. Ayan, with a smile and a grateful heart. Ayan. Sabi nga sa kanta ni Don Moen. Ah, parang si Sir Jason. Ayan, si Sir Jason nandiyan na pala. Ayan. So, guys, again, good evening po sa inyong lahat. So, tonight we will have our live trading. Actually, live na ipanoonoorin or i-witness ang non-farm payroll. Excited na ba kayo, guys? Hi, Sir Derek. Excited na ba kayo, guys? Guys, just to give you an idea, no? Uh, what you call this, non-farm payroll is one of the uh, big events ng U.S. Uh, uh, market kung saan ang mga traders ay nag-aabang if it's good or bad for U.S. So, uh, i-witness natin yon tonight and uh, excited ako kasi at least makikita nyo how volatile the market is during non-farm payroll. So, um, kung kayo good ay may mga demo accounts, Uh, good evening, Sir Jason. Ayan. Kung kayo po ay may mga trading accounts, i-open nyo na at uh, i-watch nyo po. Or kung kinakabahan po kayo, stay away from the market during non-farm payroll, especially if you are trading U.S. currencies, U.S. currency pairs. Ayan. Para po uh, tayo yung makaiwas, it's either sabi nga, non-farm payroll can make you or break you. So we're just giving you Uh, ano, not a warning per se, but at least, you know, an advice, ayan, or recommendation. So, kumusta naman, Sir Jason, ang iyong bagong pasok na araw ng, hindi pala bagong pasok, si June 3 na ngayon, at least month of June. Kamusta naman, Sir J? Toxic ba? <laughs> okay lang, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's good, that's good. Um, Actually, hindi ko alam kung mahina yung signal ko or kay Sir Jason ano, pero sa sa akin. Sa akin. Oo, ah, oo, sa so sa iyo, sa akin kasi okay naman so far. Ayan, tapos ayan si si Miss Joyce pa tong nakikita ko na to. Ah, hindi. Ah, si Miss Joyce Kabiao ko. Matagal na siya nag-nag-ano, nag -aaten. Guys, sino po ang first timer? Ayan, dati kong tinatanong ha kasi I'm that's so pressed I mean na na motivate po kami. Ayan si si Miss Love Joy Lugay. Ayan, ang ganda naman ng name niya, Love Joy. O di ba? Love and Joy. Ayan. Ang i ang pangalan niya si Miss Daniel kanina natuwa ako. So ayan si Miss Ann, Anna Christine. First time din niya. So guys, maraming nagigilat po first time no. Natutuwa ako kasi nga uh, ibig sabihin, meron talagang interesado at gustong matuto ng forex trading. So for us na naka-attenda ng ilang beses at naka-experience na na mag-trade, please, please, and please share this opportunity. Wala pong mawawala sa inyo. In, in fact, makakatulong po kayo doon sa ating uh, mga i-invite. Giving them uh, at least an, uh, ano yun, a learning no? and an extra income, of course, if they profit. And of course, syempre, hindi naman namin kayo ahayaan na tumalon sa market na hindi po kayo equipped ng knowledge ninyo sa pag-aaral ng or pag-trade natin no pero again sabi nga natin sa mga nakakaraang training yung trading psychology natin wala po makaka-control ng inyong emotions and ang pagiging greedy ayan iwasan po natin alam po natin na yan ang pinakakalaban ng mga traders so ano po yan ha reminder doon sa mga natututo na mag-trade na naka-open na ng trade at nagde-demo account guys demo account trip Uh, I mean, treat demo account as your live account. Okay? Para at least, ano naman, maramdaman ninyo, guys, huwag naman kayong gagawa ng live account na $100,000. Make it realistic. Yung, kala, yung alam yung kaya nyo mag-fund ng ganong amount. Huwag naman $100. Make it $1,000. Ayan. As your demo account. Tapos, i-practice nyo po siya based dun sa ating, uh, may, may group chat po kasi tayo no, dun sa mga hindi pa po members. Uh, meron po tayong group chat, nagbibigay po ang ating coach or ang ating mentor, uh, si Sir Chris, ng mga uh, bias na sinasabi niya o recommendations wherein pwede niyo pong i-apply sa personal trading account niyo or sa live or demo as long as, of course, alam po natin yung risk management natin 
And of course, syempre, alam din natin yung risk disclosure that uh, your losses might increase the amount of your deposit. So just just make sure, guys, before you uh, jump in the market, you are ready emotionally and of course, uh, financially ready. Remember, sabi lagi po natin pinagsinasabi at pinag-uusapan, do not trade the money that you cannot afford to lose. Or if you want to win this much, remember, learn how to lose this much as well. So, or that much as well. So, hindi naman namin sinasabi yung matatalo kayo. No? But ag- again, ang, ang lesson learned dito, kung ano yung gusto mong ma-attain, yun din yung possible mo na malo, ma- matalo. So, just uh, a reminder for you guys. Ayaw namin na ma-feel ninyo or ma-burnt out kayo or uh, ma-tawag dito uh, ma magkaroon kayo ng sama ng loob or masabi nyo na scam ang forex trading. It's never been a scam, guys. Ang scam lang po yan, nagiging scam lang po yan. Hi, Ma'am Miles. Good evening. Ayan. Uh, magiging, smile, magiging scam lang po yan kapag, of course, yung tao na gumawa sa forex trading ng scam. Gagamitin nila yung forex just to invite people and uh, invest uh, money uh, sa kanila mismo, no? On their own uh, account or on their, on their own name, tapos bibigyan na lang kayo ng fixed profit. So, depende po yan kung gaano kalaki yung profit na binibigay sa inyo. Too good to be true, guys. As long as it's higher than bank interest, wag naman too much, no? Eh, salute ako din. 2-3%, 5% maximum or at least attainable. Doon sa ating GC, magkano na earn this request on his account? Actually, if it's five, more than 5% ang na-withdraw na niya sa account niya in one month trading. Actually, exact one month today, uh, June 3. May 3 siya tumalon sa market, but he registered May 1st. So, I know guys that uh, you can do that as well. Uh, in fact, kung wala siyang pending trades, he earned more than 10%. That's 585 as far as I remember. So, yun po yung gusto ko pong sabihin sa inyo. Anything is possible, basta kayo po ay nag-aaral at patuloy din po kayong makikinig dun sa mga sinasabi natin. Kasi minsan sobrang excitement natin Ano, trigger happy tayo. I experienced that, guys. No? Doon nagdaan tayo lahat dyan. So, naiintindihan namin kung ano po yung ano ninyo, inyong nararamdaman sa sobrang excitement nyo. Anyway, guys, ano, uh, tawag dito, ayoko naman na masyado tayong gabihin. Meron kasi tayong NFP, sabi ko nga. Uh, meron bang, sige, tanawin ko nga muna, matagal ko na hindi natatanong to, Sir Jay. Sino po ang pinakamalapit? Ayan, Manila area, NCR. Ayan, si Miss Lovejoy nag-message ko na. Siya ba yun? O oh, hindi niya natanggal yung kanina? Ayan. Ayan, saan ba? NCR. NCR lang. Manila area. Wala. Walang Manila area dito. Ay, lahat sila malalayo. Ay, si Ma'am Miles ka pala. Oo nga pala. <laughs> si Ma'am Miles, ay talaga na-meet na natin yung napakagandang batang yan. Si, Mom, si Sir Chereski. Chereski Dista. Ayan. Si Sir Chereski, matagal ko na nakikita. Nag-ID ka ba? Or introducer broker? Gawin, mag-ID ka na, maka pwede kami pumunta sa inyo. Ayan, pwede na po tayo mag, mag-roadshow, ayan, to support yeah. ang ating mga IDs para makapag-seminar. Ah, wow, ang taga Bukid nun. Bukid nun is in Mindanao. Okay, I I I was there once. Justine is from yeah, Leyte. That's my my mom's ano, native native land. Eh. <laughs> Province ng aking mother, Leyte, ang mga waray. Ayan. Ang paborito kong pagkain sa Leyte is yung moron. Moron ba? Moron? Yeah. Ano, moron. Masarap yun. Ayan si Sir Dennis. Oh. Uh, Sir Jay. Laguna. Sir Dennis, kasi from Laguna. Sir Dennis. So he might, you know, he might be near doon sa place na i-internet natin or pagdadausan natin ng training yeah. and, and greet with the clients actually. Ah, kah- kahit, kahit, show kahit, po hindi po, kahit hindi po ito roadshow or kahit po ano, meet and greet lang just like what we did with the Traders Fair. Uh, we can do that. Just let us know kung saan po kayo yung location ninyo. And uh, pwede po tayo mag-meet and greet. Ayan. Dumagete. I really want to go there, Sir Derek. Honestly. I really do. Uh, and reach out. Marami po kasi nag-trade na dyan sa Dumagete. Uh, from different brokers. no. And when I was in other <laughs> company. And marami pong nasunog dahil hindi naturuan ng tama dyan sa Dumaguete. Mm-hmm. But I really like the market kasi aggressive sila eh. 
kasi mga kabataan yung mga, mga nag-spearhead pero hindi talaga sila nag-guide ng maayos. Bakit? Kasi ang lagi nilang sinasabi, kikita kayo, no? Mata- uh, malaki ang profit nyo, more than banks, of course, yeah, it's possible. But, you know, yung too much promises. And it wa- they were not uh, taught well ng tama. Yun talaga yung importante doon, which is yung yun ang pinakaya dapat natin isipin. Ayan. Mm-hmm. Hello, Chris. Good evening, Chris. <laughs> He's not ready yet, I guess. All right, just take your time, Chris. Ah, uh, yan dumagete. So far, bukid noon dab. Uh, meron pa rin sabi ng Davao. Wala no, bukid noon lang no. Oh, wala, wala. So far. CDO. Ayan, ayan CDO. Okay lang kasi ayan Pampanga, Sir June. Medyo uh, ayan Isabela. Isabela, ayan si Sir Roger. Ah. Sir Roger, I, will, uh, I, will, uh, uh, I just want to ask you, Sir Roger, pers- uh, dito sa ano, no? uh, saan po sa Isabela kayo, uh, sa the province, saan sa Isabela? Jonathan, ayan, no, si Sir June, saka si Sir Jonathan, pampampanga sila. So possible uh-huh. na pwede tayo mag-beat and greet dyan sa Pampanga. Ayan, from Davao City, uh, Sir Eduardo. Yan. Sir Eduardo, matagal ka na po ba nag-trade ng Forex or bago pa lang po? Ayan. Alam niyo kung bakit ako nagtatanong ng from Davao? Kasi Alicia. Ah, okay. Alicia, Alicia, Alicia. Okay, doon sa pinunta. Nakakarating na rin po ako dyan. Uh, the reason why, kasi nga po nagpunta ako sa Santiago ng halos uh, one year po akong tumira sa Santiago. That's why I'm asking. Kasi may mga friends po ako dyan sa Isabela. Dito naman sa Davao City, Sir Eduardo. That's why I'm asking. Kasi meron po akong IB nakausap at gusto niya mag show. So, posible po na mapunta tayo sa Davao at maka, kayo ay makamayan at makamusta Ayan, sa Davao. Yeah. Mas maganda po, mas marami akong pakilala at uh, na pwede natin i-meet kasi mag-help po tayo ng isang uh, meet and greet natin doon sa Davao. Actually, yun lang, Davao de Oro, Davao del Sur, Davao del Norte, Davao, ano pa ba yung sa apat yata yun o lima? ba diba? Davao de Oro. Yeah. Oo, oo, nagdagdag yan eh kasi alam ko lima yan. So isang IB ang kausap ko na gusto niya ma-reach yung lahat ng Halos Mindanao area. Then CDO, I went there to as well sa Jensen. Ayan, nakapunta na tayo. Guys, kaya ako nagtatanong kasi we really want to meet you. Not just online kasi uso naman na ang face-to-face. Pwede na tayo ulit mag-meet and greet. So at least maramdaman you know that we are reaching out guys. We are reaching out to you para makita ano, sa Santiago, Madam, 30 minutes travel. Yes. Nakamotor pa lang kami na tayo. Ayan. Nakamotor, nakakotse pagka nagkagala sa Santiago. Ayan. Opo. How about CDO? When ma'am, good evening. Sir Emmanuel, up to you. Uh, usap kayo ni Sir Jay kung kailan tayo pwede. And uh, if you're an IP, we could do a drug show in CDO. Malapit na yan sa... Yeah. Hindi ko alam eh. Basta Mindanao, alam ko, magkakalapit na yan. Madali nang mag- sumakay ng bus. Yun, dalaw, Ito mo bus. natin yan. Oo, i-add mo na lang siya kapag ka nag-ID para at least ma- ma-reach out natin. Guys, kung bakit po ginagawa ito? Kasi marami pong nag-broker, marami naman pong broker na nagpapameeting, no? Marami rin pong uh, gustong uh, mag-reach out sa mga companies. Gusto nila kasi makita yung legitimacy and how, mm. how uh, tawag dito, yung customer service nila. Kung baga yung support mismo ng company. Uh, though wala po tayong office here in the Philippines, but at least we will we tried our best to reach you out, guys, para uh, ma-address po yung concerns natin. Ano? Okay. So, guys, bago po tayo magsimula, ulitin ko yung parati kong sinasabi uh, that uh, we always start po with a prayer, especially dun sa mga bago. We always start with a prayer and end this webinar with a prayer. So, it's 8.08 p.m. na. And uh, and if we would be 8:30, right? Tama ba, Pastor Sir Jay? 8:30, right, Sir Chris? 8:30. Oh yeah. So at least we could start na. Oh, and and Sir Chris might have some advice or recommendations before NFP. At least we could be ready. Okay. So, Sir Jay, uh, can we start with a prayer na? Sige, ma'am. Sige po. Let's uh, bow our heads. Close our eyes. Let us pray. Father God, thank you, Lord, for another opportunity, a uh, pri- privilege, oh Lord, to have this kind of webinar during night uh, non-farm payroll, oh Lord. Uh, guide us, uh, give us the knowledge and wisdom what to do during these times. 
uh, high impact news in the market. Uh, teach us, oh Lord, uh, use uh, Sir Chris Thomas to uh, uh, teach us, guide us, and uh, let us know what to do. Uh, uh, Nawa po, oh Lord, ang Holy Spirit mo ang uh, magturo sa amin, mabay sa amin. And everything that we do is for your glory. In Jesus' name, all we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for that wonderful prayer, Sir Jay. Ayan, guys, again, good evening sa inyong lahat. And please, please, please invite your friends, your family, and relatives to join us tonight for them to witness the real market or the real volatility ng U.S. market because of the non-farm payroll. Doon po sa mga bago pa lang, again, we welcome you guys. And uh, this is a free webinar, no? This is a free webinar just to give you an idea. And we also give you the recordings of this uh, webinars. Ayan. With the requirement lang po na magkaroon tayo ng isang verified account with TikMail. Wala kayong babayaran, guys. Okay? Uh, we just want you to be part of TikMail or verified ano, uh, uh, client ng TikMail. Yun lang po ang aming request. So, guys, before we start, I would like to introduce my, you myself. Ako po si Sally. Ako po ang country manager ng TikMail Philippines. And again, ang TikMail po is seven years na, na nagkikater sa Philippines. So, kung di po natin uh, alam, no, or at least magkaroon tayo ng idea. And we cater them so far. Wala naman pong problema. Even though wala po tayong office, at least ang importante po, nakakapag-withdraw, nakakapag-deposit po sila ng maayos. And na-address po natin yung concern. If you have concerns, guys, andyan po ang ating mga GCs. Uh, meron po tayong GC wherein you can communicate with us po. Uh, para lahat po ng concerns ninyo, ma-address po natin as long as uh, uh, the, the, uh, the fastest po na, na kaya namin gawin. Okay? At mas maganda po na at least uh, hands-on kami dun sa mga concerns ninyo. Just want to give you an idea, no? if ever na magkasabit kayo ng mga documents or requirements, it will take some time pagka for ano po, weekends. Kasi po wala po Sabado at Tinggong employees sa uh, support natin. Kasi Europe po yan. And nag-open po sila ng 3 p.m. Manila time or Philippine time. So, kaya kailangan po maging patient lang po tayo. Pero on a weekdays po, automatic yan. Within 24 hours, meron po kagot-sagot yan. Okay? And uh, I've been into trading po or forex trading for 8 years now. And uh, napagdaanan ko po ang pagiging beginner. Of course, that's why I know where you're coming from, dun sa mga bago. And naging IB rin po ako, introducer broker, and naging signal provider at the same time. Nag-fund uh, nag management na rin po at ngayon po is country manager. So lahat po ng stage we're in na pwede natin pagdaanan sa forex trading uh, market or forex trading world, medyo nadaanan po natin. That's why we are conducting seminars to teach and uh, help people to understand what forex market, uh, forex trading is. Okay? And Sister Jason naman, Sister Jason, uh, let you introduce yourself to them. Okay. Ayan, good evening. Ayan po, si Jason Albay. Ako po yung uh, account manager. So if you have concerns sa mga pag-open ng account, pag-deposit, pag-withdraw, uh, welcome account, etc., etc. Regarding po sa tick mail, ako po yung i-message nyo. Ano po, uh, so as, as fast as I can, uh, magre-reply naman po ako sa inyo. I've been in the industry of Forex, mga four years na. Galing po ako sa insurance industry. Ayan. Uh, most mga past 10 years. Ayan. So, welcome po. Magkakausap tayo. Tatawagan ko po kayo pag may, pag may nag-ring yung phone nyo at ang number po ay London or UK. Ako po yun. Sa tip mail. Sagutin nyo po. <laughs> Ayan. Thank you. Po. Siya po yung mangungulit sa inyo. Mangungulit siya dahil uh, maaari pong kulang yung documents or meron pong tamang uh, requirements of course mag invite lang po ng ating webinar or mabibigay ng updates sa inyo. So, please po, pakisagod. Minsan po ako rin yung tumatawag especially sa mga IBs. Ayan. So, tumatawag din po ako using London number din po. Okay? So, okay guys, siguro we only have almost 15 minutes no, to start yung NFP. So, um, without further ado, I would like to introduce you our uh, po, um, coach for tonight or our speaker for tonight. He is, or uh, he was a retired uh banker or a regional bank manager from Standard Chartered Bank Europe. And he was also a corporate investment banker from BNP Paribas. Uh, he's been into this, on this industry for 24 years now. And up to now, he's been trading his own account with TickMill. Thank you very much. And uh, again, he's the one who's going to teach us how to 
do the NFP and wash it and you know trade accordingly during NFP. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you our speaker for tonight, Mr. Christopher Thomas. Good evening, Chris. Good evening, Chris. Good evening, Jay, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for attending. Uh, today's topic is basically how to trade news events. Okay, not particularly non-farm, but we are lucky that our webinar date is falling on one of the dates, which happens to be the single largest market moving uh, news after the interest rate news. You know, uh, interest rate news is basically when central banks uh, guide the uh, interest rates of the country, of the currency. And then the second the biggest metric to judge an economy is the number of joblessness. Higher the joblessness means higher the number of unemployed people means lower the metrics of the economy. If more people are in, uh, sort of uh, hired and if the jobless rate is less means that the economy is moving, economy is turning in the right direction, which is a fundamental reason why currency pairs prices go up or down against each other. So for example, if the Philippines economy is stronger in terms of growth, its currency will become stronger. Okay, vis are we the, the US, if you remember not too long ago, the peso was trading at 47, it was strong, but now the peso is trading at 52 plus, 52 pesos plus, means it's become weak, means you need more pesos to buy the same $1 now, than before, you need 52 pesos to buy $1 and you need now, uh, before you needed 47 pesos or 46 pesos to buy $1. So this happens when comparatively, the Philippines economy is not growing as much as it should be compared to the US economy. Or it can be any other country. It could be uh, Malaysia, it could be Singapore, it could be Thailand, that's how it works. But uh, the the, you cannot change Malaysian ringgit directly into Philippine pesos. It's got to be Philippines peso converted into US dollars, which will then be converted into Malaysian ringgits. Okay. Or suppose you want to buy Saudi Riyal or you want to go to Hong Kong to buy uh, to Hong Kong Disneyland. You will need to convert your Philippine dollars, uh, Philippine pesos into US dollars and then convert it into uh, Hong Kong dollars. When you go to the currency exchange, he is he or she is doing the same thing. It's just that they will quote you a rate that PHP Malaysian ringgit is this much because they've already done the calculation at the back end. Okay. So having said that, the non-farm payroll is uh, is uh, like I said is the most important uh, imp report of the day. And if you look, I will just uh, share a screen with you now. Uh, Sally, could you please uh, enable my sh screen oh, sure. sharing? Okay. Okay. Now, this is basically the... Let's make it into 30 minutes so that you can see the full day's activity. Now this is, today is June 3. Now this is the activity of today. So if you see, uh, till now, the market has traded in a tight range of 36 pips. You can see 36 pips all day long, 36 pips. This is because the market is un in an uncertain mode. If the non-farm payroll comes out great or better than expected, then the price, you can expect the price to shoot up. 
for example, let's draw a line so that you can watch it. This is the upper band. And so far, this is the lower band. Okay. So from the upper band to the lower band, the market has been trading 37 pips. Okay. And if you just look yesterday's price action, okay. Um, this is the activity for yesterday. And yesterday, the market from its high to its low was trading in a 158 pip, which is a lot. That's why I am giving the example of GBP USD because it's very high beta. Okay. So it traded 158 points, but all day today, only 37 points pips here. Okay. Sorry. 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 I'm taking the wrong from here to here. Sorry, my mistake. 117 pips yesterday. This line and this line represents yesterday's activity. Now let's get on to today's activity. If the market, if the news comes out better than expected, you can expect the price to go down because that is good for the dollar. So it means dollar will become stronger and GDP will become weaker. If the news is bad, you can expect this blue line, upper blue line to be broken. Let's change the color of this line. We will upper blue line and your uh, lower yellow line. Okay. So as we go on to the uh, 830, now the best uh, place where you can uh, look for the news and you will get it instantly is I use fxtreat.com. Okay. On this, you will see that it says in nine minutes, you will have the all these reports. In nine minutes, you have the most important report, which is the red report, non-farm payroll. Yes, obviously at uh, 1400, you will get uh, the ISM, which is also important. And then obviously the US president is going to speak. He's going to speak about the economy. And obviously whatever the president says has a lot of bearing on the markets. For those of you who are attending for the first time, please understand, technicals do not matter. Technicals assist you in trading. Technicals do not cause the price to move, okay? So paying attention to the news as traders is very, very important. Even people who are very, very technically savvy with all the technical indicators, they use this metric. If you trade in isolation, you are running a huge risk. You have to pay attention at least to the medium and the high risk news events. And today you can see we have three high news risk events and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten medium risk events. All these contribute to the, the uh, strength or the weakness of the currency. Okay. So having said that, uh, I would like to sort of uh, invite your questions if you have any, so that we can have a Q&A as we uh, go along further in this uh, session. So feel free if you have any questions and then uh, we'll go back to the non-farm payroll in the next seven minutes. You can type your questions in the chat or you can raise your hands and ma'am Sally will open your audio. How many of you are uh, first timers here? Welcome Derek. Uh, do you have any previous experience? Manuel, Judy, Galaxy, Derek, any previous experience about trading? Okay. So Derek, uh, uh, what kind of a trader are you? You have uh, experience before. Are you a scalper or are you a 
fundamental trader or a technical trader scalping okay how scalping uh, going for you because scalping is something that uh, requires a lot of patience and it requires you to be full time our trading technique is a uh, technique not system technique is basically be, uh, for people who have part time jobs or who want to have make it a full time job so for scalping you have to be on your screen all the time so that's uh, something that uh, we sort of don't really promote because uh, all of you uh, must be having uh, daytime jobs i guess and want to take on uh, trading as a means to make extra income so if my understanding is incorrect kindly correct me eduardo all currencies all currencies irrespective of whether being a dollar tra uh, dollar uh, based currency or not will get affected like i just explained if you want to convert malaysian ringgit into uh, philippine peso or vice versa it will be first converted against the dollar okay so for example if the dollar becomes stronger against php it does not necessarily mean it will become stronger against the malaysian ringgit okay but that would make malaysian ringgit more expensive to buy in pesos so it it uh, basically covers all currency pairs okay marceline uh, marceline thank you that's that's basically the uh, mix that we have in in our group not many full time traders it's people who are looking to supplement their income any more questions guys please we have 3 minutes before nft so kung meron po kayong tanong paki-type lang po sa chat box so our coach uh will answer it Or, or maybe they're excited for the NFP, Chris. <laughs> That's why they're not asking, they're not, uh, asking questions. Okay. Okay, then uh, we, we will just share the screen. We'll go here. Oh, yeah. Share. Now, let's wait yeah. for the news. Uh, uh, as and when the news comes, you will see movement. See, it's still stuck in that range. If I make it bigger... it's touched this line then it's gone up it touched that up a blue line and just trading in the middle now as the news comes you may see a see a break but we are not going to trade this we are not going to say uh, we will put a sell stop here or a buy stop here for the first 10 minutes we are not going to do that the reason is because the volatility of the price might hit your buy stop or your sell stop and stop and change directions so that is the wrong way to trade the non farm payroll we will buy at this level if the news is bad but we will buy after 10 minutes so that the noise and the uh, knee jerk reaction in the market has faded now i will change the chart to 5 minutes so you can get a better uh, understanding of what the price action is likely to be so when this candlestick changes means the news has been released so let's go to the news <laughs> one minute left the expectation is that the jobs created will be 325000 jobs a number better than 325 dollar will basically become stronger and the unemployment rate to reduce to 3.5% from 3.6% okay if the unemployment number that comes at 3.5 or 3 even at 3.5 or 3.4 better it will be much much better now, now there ready steady let's go
good number bad number good even number oh very good 390k against expectation of 325k oh but unemployment rate has increased from 3.5% it has gone to 3.6% now let's see the price action there knee jerk it broke the yellow line watch the price action so bad news okay news okay news very good news bad news bad news okay so it's a mixed bag this was the reaction to the uh unemployment number the 6 uh, 390000 jobs and this going trying to go up is the reaction to the unemployment rate unemployment rate is 3.5% but actually means unemployment in the us has risen by 0.01% okay now that come in a population of uh, 350 million plus people is a lot if 35 350 million people 10% is 35 so 1% is 3.5 million so we are talking about a good 35000 jobs not uh, being uh, participated in okay so there's a ta uh, tussle because like i said it's a mixed bag okay that is why we do not trade for the first this bar and the next bar the bar coming after this we will not trade we will observe and watch so while the price is doing its action uh feel free to ask any questions that you may have and then for today i will uh, share with you a very simple way to trade No, the reason, Eduardo, I'm putting it on lower time frame so it is much more easier to spot the volatility. Uh, because uh, you're not watching it on your screens, you're, uh, I don't know uh, whether you're watching it on your uh, la laptops or your mobile phones. Because if I make it into a 30 minute chart, the impact gets lost like this. This is a 30 minute, but like I said, we will not trade for 10 minutes. So that is why it's we don't have a 10 minute uh, time frame. So I'm putting it on to the five minute time frame. Manuel, uh, the indicators that I use are not really indicators. I use uh, the moving averages. I use the Fibonacci uh, retracement tool. I use trend lines and I use support and resistance. Sometimes I use the R RSI. Like I said, uh, my experience has taught me that you trade the news. You do not trade the indicators. If you become hooked to indicators, understand indicators basically is a mathematical formula okay it does not uh, calculate uh, the impact of the global news events for example let me tell you the russian war started on the 25th of february okay let's put it on the daily time frame
this is the daily time frame now let's go back to february 25th Twenty fourth, the twenty fifth, twenty fourth of, I think, yeah, somewhere around this time, the the Russian invasion took place. Now let's put in the moving average. Okay. Till that day, the price was moving above the moving average. Along comes Russia, knocks Turkey out, oh, sorry, Ukraine out, and then the price moved below the 50 moving average. Now, no indicator would have crossed over so soon. There would be no indicator that could have caught this on time. And then from that day till today, the price has never looked back. Let's say, the price has seen 1,283 pips fall in the GBP. But if we had known about, if we were reading the news every day and saw that Russia had attacked, we would have immediately become bearish. Because whenever there's a crisis, dollar is the safety haven, okay? So means we will deal in dollar strength. So this is basically just a very, uh, Quick example of uh, showing you back to our charts. There. As of right now, nineteen pips. It's fallen nineteen pips already. Okay. Now, it's not uh, because of the employment rate, which came in uh, short of expectation. Because of this rate, this number is very good because they were the market was expecting three hundred twenty-five. It's come up at three hundred and ninety. Okay. That's a beat by almost 70,000, 325, yeah, 70,000. Okay, which is a very, very healthy percentage. Okay. 33% basically deviance. So, but the problem is this number. This number, if it had been even 3.5, but it has increased from 3.5 to 3.6. That is what the market is disappointed about. Okay. And then you can see. Now, because of this, we will look at the next candle. We will look for an entry of sell anywhere here where this, can you see the uh, crosshair at this level? Okay. So I hope uh, uh, it's clear upon you why news matters, uh, why it is important. Um, let me amend this to 20 SMA. Now, effectively, the 20 simple move average, moving average, moving average 20, means the 20 day period moving average is now basically forming your resistance. And all this while it was forming the effective support line. Okay. So, and then you can basically also add to it, if you can change the time frame, depending 
what time frames do you uh, normally uh, trade on? I know the scalpers will trade on the one minute and five minute ch charts. And those of you who are just joining trading, obviously you do not have your own preference, but I pr personally prefer the four hour chart. The four hour chart gives me a much more clearer picture of the price action, okay? Let me remove the period session breaks here. Okay. Going back to the five minute. And you can see the, the magnitude of the fall. So the market for now is ignoring this number and it's concentrated on this number. Now I will tell you the reason why this is important for the market. If employment is high, okay, if the employment rate of employment is going up, means that the Fed, when I say the Fed, it means the Central Bank of the, of the United States. The Fed is likely to be more aggressive in its interest rate hike. Now, why does interest rate hike matter? It's very simple. If a currency is paying more interest on deposits, people are likely to put their currency, their money in that currency. It's simple. You have a million pesos, okay? For example, I will give you a simple example. You have uh, two banks, BDO and BPO. If BDO is offering 3.5% uh, per annum interest and uh, BPO is out ordering, offering 3.5% and BDO is offering 3%, because both banks are both same stable, where will you put your money? I'm sure your answer is where there's 3.5%. So now think globally. You have money, you can invest in pounds, you can invest in dollars, you can invest in euros. Whichever currency is going to give you a higher interest rate, you're going to invest your currency, your money in that currency, right? So this is why interest rates are very important. What makes non-farm payroll more uh, an important tool towards than towards that end is if the economy is growing, the Fed will not mind raising the rates because the economy is growing. But if the economy is not growing and if he raises interest rates, that will cause the economy to even suffer even more because that will bring on recession. Okay, When an economy is growing, there is inflation. To fight inflation, you raise interest rates. But if the economy is not growing and you have inflation and you still raise interest rates, you have a very, very severe effect on the uh, recession. And that's called stagflation. So slowly, slowly you will understand this, but for now understand interest rate decisions, uh, the, uh, the, the determinant of interest rate decision comes from the health of the economy, the PMI numbers, the manufacturing, sector, the job, but the job numbers are the most important. If you just look at the unemployment rate means it's like if a company is doing well, they will hire people. If the company is not doing well, they will not hire people. So US think of the US economy as a company. If it's doing well, it's hiring more people. If it's not doing well, it's not going to hire more people. Simple as that. So now once you see this price action, then you move on to the higher time frames. Okay. You go to the four R. Now there was uh, day before yesterday there was a, a economic news, which I like. I was telling some of you who are part of the group chat that I don't really believe the ADP numbers. And I was right. The ADP numbers said that uh, jobs were not created, but clearly jobs were created. And now our support is at this number. Now there are two ways to that I would play this. 
I would either put a buy sell stop below this number. Okay. I would put a sell stop below this number or I would wait for it to retrace and then buy uh, then sell again. So if you do not want to catch this falling knife because the price might go back, you sell at this as you can. Next. Your entry would be sell stop. below the line okay sell limit below this blue line and with a edge buy stop If the price crosses over this line, you have a buy stop and your take profit target would be here. You will put your take profit target. would be your take profit target and if your sell stop is hit on to be on the safer side your take profit target would be here you see this cluster this would be your take profit as simple as that. If your sell stop is not hit and the market is going up, okay, your sell limit will be hit. But if the sell limit is hit and the market is still going up, your buy stop will be hit. Okay, so you are ahead. And this is basically the long term uh, recent uh, cap, the resistance. So any move of the price beyond this uh, would not be and since you'd be taking the profit anyways, so you're out of the trade and you would make about You would make about 60 70 pips on this, so you are safe. So, you'll be in the transaction and out of the transaction at the same time, or you would be hedged. Okay, so this is how I would trade it. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good question, Evgenia. I do not work with the sell store or oh, sorry. Uh, stop losses in a ranging market when the market is ranging yes gbp usd is in a large overall trend but the trend will continue or the trend will reverse on the larger time frames now when we are uh, trading on the 4 hour 1 hour uh, charts and we are uh, keeping in mind the fundamental news and if we do not see any reason for a trend change we will not put a stop loss we will not put a stop loss yeah we will replace if we have a sell we'll replace it with a buy stop okay and if we have a buy we will replace it we will uh, uh, stop it out with a sell stop because the market will in a ranging market the market will give us profit on both transactions all we need 
is to trade with proper risk management and have patience. Okay, in a ranging market, the market will always come up and down, go up and down. So that is why I don't believe because once you put a stop loss, means you have you have not you have you have taken the loss. Okay, yeah. Uh, but if you have traded with say a margin of two thousand percent, the chances are that you will come back into profitability are higher if you have not taken more than one percent risk. Okay. At worst, what can happen is at worst, yes. If you are getting uh, too impatient, you can stop out because you have already sort of limited your losses. But you have given a you have limited your losses by putting a buy stop or a sell stop, and you are giving your chance to profit from both, which I think is a better way to look at things than to just liquidate the transaction. I hope uh, you understand my logic, Evgenia. Now let me give you a hypothetical. This is a hypothetical example of hedging. Okay. Now we are on the four hour four hour uh, chart. Okay. Try to get it. So you buy by market price. It can be anything. It's up to you. Entry into the market can be either a buy limit or a sell limit, and sell stop uh, or, or a stop loss can be replaced with a sell stop or a buy stop. How you get into the market is uh, entirely uh, your. Uh, if you see an opportunity, the market is falling, falling, and you know it's a rising market, you can just enter at market, okay? But instead of putting a stop loss, you put in a sell stop if you're buying, and vice versa, you can put a buy stop if you're selling. It's it's like a hedging trade, but again, the point that you need to understand is it has to be a ranging market. Do not try hedging in a trending market, okay? Now, how do you identify a range? You go to the one hour chart, oh, sorry, the daily chart. I will remove all the drawings so that we can see it easily. For ever so long, the price has been Ever so long, the price has been trading in this range. Okay. Okay. Now, your question would be safest, safest capital in this trade, and what lot size you The safest capital is the capital that you can afford to lose, Manuel. Okay, but uh, I always tell uh, my uh, the attendees of my group chats and the webinar, do not try to use more than 1% equivalent of your trade in uh, the Forex market at any given time. If the price does not hit the profit line and you're still in profit, you take it out, you, uh, you liquidate. There's no uh, guarantee that the price will hit that line. So if the market is giving you a profit without your sell stop or buy stop being hit, take the profit. There is uh, no fixed rule. So for example, what I'm trying to, the point I'm making, this pink line, let's make it pink and blue line so that you understand. In a ranging market, what happens is, now suppose I'm saying this is daily, huh? day one, day two, day three, four, five, so many days. Over so many days means actually almost a month. This is when, no, more than a month. 27th April, and today is 3rd June, 27th April, May, 
almost a month, more than a month actually. This is more than a month. And these are from here, 37 days. How can it be 37 days? Looks uh, 27 bars, 37 days as per the calculation. Okay. It says 28 bars, so 28 daily bars. Okay. 40 days is because it also includes holidays, the weekends. Okay. So 28 bars means 28 days, 28 trading days. Okay. Now price has remained in the same. Now suppose the price breaks above. This is what we call This is the resistance. This pink line is the resistance now. And the blue line is the support. Can anyone of you tell me what happens when a resistance is broken? Or what happens when a support is broken? Can anybody tell me? I will uh, make another example for you. When resistance is broken, it becomes the support. Okay. So what happened? Then this has become the new resistance. And resistance will always be visited again. It's just a matter of time. Now, if you're out of the transaction, you cannot uh, do anything. Okay. Support stops the price from going down. But if the support breaks and the price breaks below the support. So for example, if the price goes down here, down here, okay? Then this line, the support line will become the resistance, uh, will become, If the price goes, for example, where's that tool? The price goes down. From here, it goes down, goes up again, and then it breaks through. Okay. What happens? then this becomes the resistance and then this level becomes the support. Okay. And then what will happen? Then the price is likely to bounce off the support and test the resistance again. This is how trade trade works. Okay. So it's a fundamental rule of trading. Okay. That if the support is not broken, the price will go and test, uh, test the resistance and vice versa. If it's testing the resistance, the resistance is not broken, it will go and test the support. And like this line, this was the support before, but it the line uh, the price broke now and then bounced off this level. Now this has become the, the support, which the former support has now become the resistance. So on and so forth. So this is why I tell people to hedge. Okay, now for example, we are hedging on a daily basis and the price is trading above the 20 day moving average. But let's see what is it trading at in terms of 50 day moving average. 50 day moving average is the short term trend. 
the price is trading below the 50 day moving average in simple terms if you look at this price action you will see that the 50 day moving average the blue curved line here it's acting like a natural resistance for the price for so many days from here so this so if we do a hedge transaction of buy and sell because the trend of the market is sell we will look to liquidate the buy position first at a profit because a sell position will automatically give us profit in the long run because we are trading with the trend and in uh, forex we say the trend is your friend so it uh, i think most of you have been uh, <coughs> baptized by people who are great believers in technical indicators so that is why maybe some of you do not trust your own eyes but trust me if you use your eyes and if you learn to read the news use simple moving averages and trust yourself and trade with patience and with risk management trading is very simple it does take work but it is simple okay uh, any questions so far i'm sorry i cannot give you an actual trade in live because uh let's go back to the price action on the 30 minute chart let's get rid of the drawings whenever you want when you want to take a hedge whenever you want because if you are looking at the classic hedge it means you are buying and selling at the same price at the same time and you are looking to liquidate the see when you are buying and selling in the market you are taking one trade which is with the trend and then you are taking one trade which is counter trend so for example like we said on a daily basis a buy is counter trend because the trend of the market is sell so if you put a buy and a sell here you will look to liquidate the buy first okay and then you just have patience and the market will give you your reward on the sell the problem is why traders lose money is because patience is not very easy okay and sometimes risk management is even more difficult than having patience okay the price might go all the way up but if you have traded with only uh, 100% margin okay then you you have lost your money so i that's why i say do not at any given time do not trade more than 1% of your equity whether you are trading with the $100 whether you are trading with 1000 or 1 million dollars do not trade more than 1% the market is very unforgiving okay so uh if you go to my facebook group on the wall the commandments the commandments that every trader must have patience and risk management is essential if you do not have these two things do not trade forex if you are an impatient person and if you do not have discipline do not trade forex it's not meant for you so the price has basically 2520 but no it will go down again it, the market is definitely going to go down okay okay i will sh stop sharing the screen if you have any questions please ask me or we will uh, uh, randomly uh, you don't have to ask about uh, non farm payrolls it's an open forum whatever questions you have please feel free to ask but the point that uh, i was trying to make in today's uh, webinar is the Im importance of news trading with the news okay hope that is clear
So before the price was trading above the 20 day moving, this is the 50 day moving average on the 30 minute chart. Let's look on the four hour chart. Okay, on the four hour chart now it's clear. The price is now back below the 20, uh, 50 day moving average and then maybe 20 day moving average see the blue line the price is trading below the moving average and the 20 day moving average would probably give us support no now this is very bearish see the 20 day moving average the price was trading above it above here see it had gone up on the four hour chart trading above it now it's moved down now the image, maybe you cannot see, I will just make it a bit big. See for one, two, three, four candles, four, four hour candles means 16 hours. It was trading above the 20 day moving average. And with the release of the non-farm payroll, which was the high of this candle high of this candle was yes this is the recent candle the price has broken so after the uh, release of the non-farm payroll the price has now started trading below the 20 day moving average to make it So you can see it better. I hope this is clear. This is now the candle that has opened at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. is basically after the announcement of the moving average. Okay. Now after the announcement of the non-farm payroll, sorry. Okay. And now it's trading below the 20 day moving average. Before that, it was trading above the 20 day moving average. So now we can look to a sell close to the yellow line with a buy stop above the yellow line. Okay, like that. So hope this, this, uh, this is one of the simplest ways of trading any news or any, any news event or any movement above or below the moving average. For example, if the price, if you were watching the charts and the price closed above the moving average, okay, on the next moving average, uh, sorry, next moving uh, candle, I would take a buy with a buy, a sell stop below the uh, candle. But if you see, if you had taken a buy even at the high of this, you would have still made a profit. But this is a four hour candle. If we break it down, into hourly candles, you would have probably entered somewhere here. Okay, because the price went up all the way, but then it went down all the way here also. And the fundamental of trading is buy near support, buy near support, and sell near resistance. Okay, buy near support and sell near resistance means if you have bought near the support, you liquidate at resistance. So basically, when you are liquidating a buy, you are actually selling that transaction. So buy near support, sell near resistance, or vice versa, sell near resistance, buy near support. I use 20, 50, 100, and 200. Simple moving average on any time frame. So if if, for instance, the price is trading against, against uh, below all these four moving averages, then that means that's a very, very bearish pair. So you should only be looking to sell. But if the price is trading under the 50-day moving average, but trading above the 20-day moving average, means you have a strong buy and support in place. And then you trade accordingly. Buy at support, sell at resistance, or sell at resistance, buy at support with a buy stop and sell stop uh, 
above and below because if you have a sold near resistance you put a buy stop above if you bought near is support you put a sell stop below there is okay and then suppose you do not want to hedge then what you can use another tool that we call fibonacci okay or you can use uh, um, trend trend lines you know like trend lines for example let's draw a simple trend line trend line now ironically if we had drawn this before the price respected this trend line the trend line is basically going down and it almost touched this trend line and then started going down we know the reason the price is going down because of the non farm payroll but again other people are also looking at trend lines okay so you can use these simple tools and uh, no need to really get uh, hooked up into uh, and if you draw a trend line at the bottom of the chain okay you can expect a probable bounce of this red line at this level so this level would be 25 so basically now 1.2500 is your support and 2571 is your resistance you can play this range with a buy stop above if you're selling here buy stop above here and a sell stop below here like that if you're not uh, happy with the, just the trend lines then you can basically go in for the okay now this is a falling price so we will look for the base line you look at this point this is called the golden ratio 0.618 this is the golden ratio you can sell when the price comes here okay and then put a buy stop if you're selling here at this golden ratio put a sell stop a buy stop here okay so there are many many things that you can use to add confluence to your trading okay now these are very simple you can use the moving average you can use the fibonacci yes you can use the macd and the uh, williams percentage to time your entry but try not to get addicted to that because a lot of times it will give you false entries okay and will make you sort of dependent on them so again if you take 1% risk on your account means you are giving yourself a 9000 to 1 chance of failing basically 99000 to 1 no 99000 to 1 chance of failing because you are going to number one you are going to trade only in a trending uh, ranging market you are not going to trade in a trending market means if the price is making higher highs higher highs and high, lower lows so higher lows and higher lows you are not going to trade in that okay you're going to trade in a ranging market like the dollar has been doing a pound dollar has been doing okay if the price breaks above the trend line that we just showed you for the past 28 days that the price was doing then you rethink your strategy okay if you uh, if you are not clear with what i'm saying kindly feel free to ask okay thank you thank you Vinti. but feel free to ask any questions if you uh, need any clarifications that's what our webinars are meant to so that you uh, i will not basically just show you a uh, powerpoint presentation and just say I, I want interaction with you guys so that you make an effort to understand so it's clear to you I will stop sharing for now.
Okay, guys, you have more questions, please uh, put it on our chat box or on our Q&A. So please, if you have Excuse more me questions. For a minute, I will just have uh, water, okay? Oh just yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay. okay, guys, kung may mga questions pa po kayo, please, uh, i-chat lang po natin sa chat box. And for those who would like to request for the webinar link, uh, uh, or sorry, the, the recorded video, uh, paki message lang po si Sir Jay. And at the same time, uh, paki, ano na rin po, paki note na rin po yung inyong mga email addresses. Sir Jay, paki lagay din po yung, uh, what do you call this, yung link natin para sa Facebook page para po makapag join sila and yung sa group chat natin uh, para makapag. Uh, Join din sila sa ating group chat. Ayan. So, I hope you guys are learning so far. Are you? <laughs> May natutunan po ba tayo? Especially dun sa mga nagtitrade na. Dun sa mga beginners, I'm very sorry. Medyo advanced po kasi na po na pasukan nating webinar. no. So, mga bago pa lang na nagtitrade, ito po yung webinar natin for advanced po talaga. That's why uh, medyo ano po. Uh, Kung baga sa, para sa inyo, it might be an overwhelming uh, uh, seminar. But I know kung masisimulan po natin at yung mga links naman po tayo sa mga previous ano natin webinars, pwede nyo pong i-request. Ayan. So i-PM nyo lang or i-add nyo lang din po si, uh, si Sir J sa Facebook po para po may add na rin kayo sa thesis natin. Oh, by the way guys, um, in any case, no, uh, you would like to be assisted po uh, sa mga account opening po ninyo, katulad ng sinabi ni Sir Jay kanina, deposits, withdrawal, uh, message na lang po siya. Okay? Ayan. So, para po at least alam natin na uh, na-assist na, po namin kayo ng maayos. So, kung may questions pa guys, please uh, pakichat lang po para po hindi po tayo, I mean, naiiwan sa topic natin. Okay? Any more questions? Ayan, may questions. I have a question. If I place a trade without stop loss and overnight, I didn't reach the profit and it changed direction. So just close the trade, but it's still good to use hedging, not too late. Uh, as personal experience ko po, no, kung nag-against the trend po siya, kung kaya pa naman ng profit nyo, kasi ano naman yun, Ma'am Eugenia, it's ano pa rin, uh, paper loss pa lang naman siya as long as hindi nyo kinoclose yung trend. So, kung kaya naman ng ng close yung trade, sorry. Kung kaya naman po ng account niyo, just hold on the on the uh, trade existing trade kasi kapag nag-hedge pa po kayo kung malayo na po masyado yung price, uh, medyo magkaka magkakaroon po tayo ng problema doon. Mas pag ang hedge po kasi is mas possible ko kung medyo masyadong malapit po yung pricing niya. Chris, uh, could you please uh, give your idea or your thoughts on this? I'm not very uh, fluent in Tagalog, but I heard the trend. I heard the word, yes. the magic word trend. Yes. So yes, I agree with uh, Ma'am Sally. If you if your trade is with the trend, okay, then you can relax. And if you put a sell stop on your trade, even much better. It does not matter if the take profit target has not been hit. The market will give you an opportunity Okay, the market will always give you an opportunity in a trend uh, ranging market to liquidate your buy at a profit and liquidate your sell at a profit. The golden um, rules are trade with the proper risk management and lots and lots of patience. Yeah, um, his her question is what if the trend changed direction and she doesn't have oh, any stop overnight? Loss? It will not change overnight, yeah. a trend will not change. Okay, so you can so... rest unless you're rip and winkle and you're sleeping for 20 years okay <laughs> the trend will not change so you can relax okay how about putting a, a hedge uh or do a hedging uh while let's say more than hours ago when putting uh let's say a, a following a trade let's say buy or just put another sell if it changed hey, direction if if you're trading uh, see what i taught you is you have to choose your time frames. You want to trade 30 minute time frame, one hour time frame, four hour time frame, or the daily time frame. If you are trading with the trend of that time frame, okay, and the price is basically suppose you are buying, okay, and you have a resistance at say 50 uh, moving average, 
but it does not treat for 50 moving average, then you have a support line at the 20 moving average, right? You uh, put a buy a sell stop below the 20 moving average. So if your buy position does not liquidate itself, you are still hedged. Maybe you had some family emergency and you could not attend uh, the trading for two days. You are safe that your loss is paper loss. Like Ma'am Sally said, it's a paper loss because your uh, the direction of your trade was with the trend and you will get a chance to liquidate both those price uh, the buy and the sell sell stop so let's call it buy and sell to trade it uh, you know within the within a few few days i mean uh, if you were part of the gc i would have shared in fact ma'am sally shared my own personal account i still have open positions but I am able to withdraw my profits. Okay. So uh, we have a full disclosure. I'm not going to basically trade on, uh, you know, some dummy account and tell you to do this. I'm trading my own real live money. Okay. Francis, you can ask me in the GC. Why are you asking <laughs> me here? <laughs> because we said ask questions. That's why. Okay. <laughs> Sell stop is suppose you have taken a buy, it replaces your stop loss for your buy. Similarly, if you have taken a sell position in the market, a buy stop replaces the stop loss on your sell position. That's it. The only beauty of a sell stop and buy stop is it keeps you alive in the market. Okay. Now, for example, a lot of times you will see that your the price hit your stop loss and then started continuing in the direction of the trend of uh, the the trend of your trade initial trade but some trigger happy people basically push the price beyond uh, which is called a spike okay you get stopped out and then what do you do you say oh shit sorry for using that language but that's what you say to yourself i mean it so if you put a buy stop or a sell stop you are still keep giving yourself a chance to stay in the and your uh, loss is only a paper loss. But once you put a stop loss, it becomes a real loss to your PNL, a real loss to your equity. Okay, so understand that. Like I have a, I will try and share with you my, uh, uh, wait, I will just try and share. Ma'am Sally, can you take over? I will just uh, look at my, uh, uh, can you go to the GC, Ma'am Sally, and I sh uh, shared the hedged positions. Sure. If you could share share it that share that. Uh, file are you going I, the the current account? No, not the account. Before the account, I shared the hedge position. Or wait, Anna, I will show you. Bear with me, guys, so I can show you uh, in a live demonstration. Okay, let him let let Chris find yung uh, scenario sa GC no. So at least guys, uh, nakita natin kung ano yung uh, mga ginagawa at talagang uh, sinasuggest niya sa atin. Actually, sabi ko nga, sabi niya, it's, it's a recommendation. It's up to you if you will take it or not. Or study kung bakit siya nag-end up doon sa ganong klase ng bias or recommendations. Uh, Manuel Rin Cor Corolio, uh, NFP is non-farm payroll. We're in, uh, dyan po lahat yung mga uh, jobs na, po, na na create Yan para sa mga blue collar jobs natin. Kung marami po ba yung, yung basta hindi po agricultural na trabaho no, nagkaroon po ng ganong klase ng percentage or numbers sa US. Iba po yung unemployment rate. Iba po yun ha. Yan po ay ang pagkakaroon ng uh, trabaho ng mga hindi po agricultural na work sa US. So yan po yung non-farm payroll. 
and uh, meron po makikita yan ng mga, mga information and details po online. So marami po tayong pwedeng maging basis or maging makitang mga information about non-farm payroll, especially economic calendar, guys. Uh, daily uh, uh, FX3, Forest, Forex, uh, uh, ano ba yung investing.com, meron din po. So marami po tayong mga information na pwede makuha na ng non-farm payroll. You're welcome po, Sir Madre. Okay? So, Chris, were you able to find it? Hindi ko pakita. Hindi pa yata niya nakikita. Ayan. But anyway, we will find out. Uh, siguro, siguro, guys, if you, those who asked po doon sa question na yun, we could ano, share it sa Facebook page or it might be uh, in Facebook page ni Chris. So, para po makita natin, no? kasi ayaw naman natin na uh, mag-take tayo ng... Is your Facebook page open? Uh, I could check. I could check it. Wait. I sent. I sent you the uh, example. Okay. Facebook page. No, your chat. Your chat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait. Which chat are you talking about? Is that the the group chat or? No, no. Your, 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 your. Mine. Your okay. Yeah. Wait. I didn't receive it yet. I don't have it yet. I sent you a picture. Yeah, that's the uh, uh, the celebration photo for now. How about the other one? Maybe you send it to a different account. Yeah, you send it to a different account. Wait, I'm going to transfer it. Okay. Oh, okay, so I could pull it up. Okay, wait. Wait lang guys ha. Uh, he really wants you to see. Ayan na. Okay, uh, may I show, show my screen? Yeah. Okay, so you could explain it to them. Share screen, there you go. Okay, can you see the screen guys? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so go ahead Chris. Okay, now if you see, I'm hedged on uh, three uh, transactions of GBP USD buy and sell, and I have one transaction of New Zealand. Uh, uh, Chris, can you speak louder? Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, as you can see, uh, I have got three pairs of uh, sorry, three uh, transactions of uh, GBP USD buy, three transactions of GBP USD sell. Okay, and I have. Uh, one open transaction of New Zealand Singapore dollar, which I have not hedged. The reason I have not hedged the New Zealand Singapore dollar transaction is because I believe that it is basically a knee jerk reaction. Okay, it's uh, the price is going against the trend. Now, for GBP USD, I had liquidated my earlier buys uh, for a profit, then the price came down. I re hedged. Then this morning, I liquidated uh, the one open lot of GBP USD buy again, and then I rehedged again today. So what am I doing? I'm accumulating profits, okay? And then there is another uh, chart that I shared with my uh, group where I showed that I made my stated profit, the profit that we had uh, decided in the group, we had made that profit and I withdrew my profit from the account and the account is now back to the original size. And uh, obviously I've taken my profits and I've put it back into my account, my Skrill account, not my trading account. So this is how you do it. You do it slowly. Uh, do not be greedy in what you are looking for uh, in terms of returns. If you're looking for 10, 15% aggressive returns, you are, 10 times more likely to make pro, uh, mistakes because uh, you will uh, be you know, you'll be driven by the fact that you need to make money. If you do that, then you are going to overexpose your account. You are going to take uh, trades that do not really make sense, okay? And uh, you will you'll try to be aggressive. And if you're aggressive, means you will make mistakes. And when you make mistakes, your account suffers. So what I'm saying is, uh, I use this myself. I use the hedging technique myself and I profit from it. But I am not like trading every day. 
I'm trading when the market gives me uh, when the market gives me an opportunity like that. Okay, Sally, you can unshare the screen. I'm quite sure people. Okay. Okay, please explain. Well, capital does not matter, admin. It could be five thousand. It could be ten thousand dollars. What matters is one percent at a time. Because one percent of one uh, one thousand dollars is going to be uh, will still give you five percent. So one percent of ten thousand dollars is going to give me five percent of ten thousand dollars, or five thousand dollars. So it depends on how much money you can. Uh, the more money that you, the more capital you have, the higher the five percent. The five percent of uh, ten thousand uh, dollars is how much? Uh, five hundred dollars? Yeah. And uh, five percent of five thousand dollars is two hundred and fifty dollars. So that, uh, it's it's up to you how much you want to earn. But keep your limited expectation to about five to seven percent. The market may give you more, but you do not make it your motto to try and make it more. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, clear. Thank you, Paul, for attending. Okay, uh, any more questions, guys? We don't want to uh, hold you longer sa gabi na to, no? Kasi Friday po ngayon, it's a weekend and a family day. So if you don't have any questions, guys, um, or if you still have more questions, kapag nakajoin na po kayo ng GC, ask po sa GC natin. And at the same time, meron po tayong Facebook page. Uh, Chris is answering uh, comments. Sa Facebook page na simplified is that simply trading by Chris is that is that the right one? Yes, yeah, uh, simply trade, yeah. simple trading by Chris. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, simple trading by Chris T. So kung meron po kayong questions, just uh, ask for or uh, make a comment dun sa kanya mga pinopost ng mga videos. Yes, <laughs> fifty to sixty percent growth. Chris, you answer. Joseph, ah, uh, that is too aggressive. If that's what you're going to look at, uh, it's too high. I'm not saying it cannot be done. It cannot be done consistently month on month. And if you're going to go for that kind of growth, that kind of growth even uh, banks do not achieve. So I don't think uh, you have the resources or the manpower to give you that uh, kind of growth. That's too aggressive. All right. Thank you very much for that, Chris. So maybe we can call this a night. And uh, guys, again, please do check our Facebook page, uh, Tick Bill Philippines, like and share, and uh, Simple Trade by Chris T. Ayan. Mag-join po kayo sa ating group chat at Sir, Sir J para sa ating uh, uh, Facebook account. Ayan. So again, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. And we really hope that you learn from tonight's webinar. And before we close this webinar, uh, may I request everyone to join me for a short prayer. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful night. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the knowledge and all the learnings that we got from ton uh, tonight's webinar. Lord, uh, we hope that we could share this opportunity to everyone and uh, at least help us, Lord, to have uh, one forex trader per household, Lord. And at the same time, Lord, we ask for your guidance and your protection for this coming weekend and uh, our attendees to enjoy their family. And we give you back all the praises and glory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, guys, for attending and for joining us tonight. And if you have more uh, queries, just uh, PM Sir Jason. He's uh, just a chat away. Ayan. Siya po ang ating ano, tagapag-sagot <laughs> sa mga tanong ninyo. Ayan po.
So again, available na po ang ating videos for last two webinars. So in case you would like to ask for, for the copy, just PM Sir Jason, just leave your emails. Oh, by the way, guys, this would be the, 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 the second to the last. No? Next week po, Friday, January. Ah, sorry, one layo na narating ko. June 10. <laughs> June 10. Uh, Yan na po yung last natin. So lahat po nang umaten ngayon uh, na nakakompleto ng anim na webinars, magkakaroon po tayo ng e-certificate that we will send sa inyong mga email addresses. Guys, if I may request, please, please, please use your full name or your real name kasi yun po ang inalagay namin sa certificate. Kung ano po yung lumabas sa Zoom natin na pangalan ninyo upon registration. So if I may request, Lahat po sana na mag-join ng webinar should at least use their complete name or their uh, real name. Ayan. So again, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Have a nice weekend and God bless all po. Happy weekend. Okay, happy weekend, guys. Yes, you're welcome po. Ayan. Oh, one more thing, guys, please. Ano naman, uh, comment naman po kayo sa Trust Pilot. If you are happy with the free seminars or free webinars that we're giving you, Please comment po on or you can also leave your suggestions and comments here in chat box. Kung natutuwa po kayo sa ating webinar at natututo po kayo para we could continue po yung ating webinars. Alright? Again, thank you very much. Happy daw si Sir Francis. Thank you naman, Sir Francis. Ayan. Okay. So guys, you know the drill. Hindi po kami nagpo-close ng Zoom, ng Zoom natin. Um, we let you ano po, kay out, go out dun sa Zoom natin bago po namin i-close. Ayan. Iwan nyo lang po yung email addresses nyo para we could send you the uh, the links para po sa ating recorded videos. You're welcome, Sir Alexander. Thank you, thank you so much. Ma'am Anna Christine, thank you for attending kasi I know bago siya. I hope to see you all guys next Friday. That would be our last uh, webinar for Batch 7. And uh, we normally do uh, ano, an interview if what they've learned for the whole webinar sessions and what they could suggest for us to improve our services or our webinars guys okay so again guys thank you thank you so much god bless everyone very much helpful sir rico thank you so much sir rico alan esteban oh sir alan kamusta long time no see <laughs> parang ngayon ko lang nakita ulit si sir alan Ayan, guys, we will have a demo account contest very soon. It will be announced, so Yon. watch out for that. Watch out for that. Talagang mabay si Pinky na ng pera. Oo. Ayan. So, mamimigay din ako ng freebies, Sir Jason. Pakicalculate na ako sino yung mga nag-participate during my webinars na nagbibigay ako ng questions at sumasagot at may mga points. Pati nga pala si Sir Ryan, paalala ko sa akin, paladala natin yan ng, mm. ng free, na Dick Mill freebies. Guys, uh, doon sa mga gusto mag-ID dyan, of course, alam na nyo na ang sinasabi ko doon sa mga maroon na mag-trade. Mga gusto na mag-ID, please message us or message me personally sa aking Facebook. Sally Santa Ana, madali naman pong hanapin. Uh, ayan, you're welcome po, sir. Ay, Ma'am Lenny, ayan. Uh, para po makapag-meet and greet tayo kung nasan man kayo. Ayan. <laughs> Yan. Mga niyo po kami sa inyo. Ay, si Sir Henry Aquino. Ayan. Nakakatawa kasi nakikilala ko na sila by name. Na-recall na, na, ko na kasi nakikita ko parati yung mga pangalan nila. Nakailang certificate na kay Sir Henry. <laughs> Ayan si Sir Ala. Nakailang certificate na rin yan. Ayan. Okay. So, mga ilan na lang tayo, Sir Jay. Siguro pwede na. Kapit <laughs> na po. Henry. Okay. So, guys, again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank and you, everyone. Thank you, Sir Chris. Again. God bless po. Sir Chris, don't forget Thank your you. ice cream. <laughs> I'm going to have it. Bye-bye. Thank okay, you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.